The converse of the hinge theorem sounds exactly what it is. It's just backwards. That is, if I've got two triangles again, and I think I'll go like this, angle, let's try it, angle, triangle ABC, and I'll do X, Y, Z. And just like the hinge theorem, two of the sides have to be the same. So in other words, I'm going to say AB is congruent to XY, AC is congruent to XZ. Now this time, we're told BC, we'll say, is greater than YZ. So then we just do the opposite. That is, if I know the sides are in a inequality, I shoot across, angle A is going to be bigger than angle X. So that tells me the measure of angle A is going to be greater than the measure of angle X. So the converse is when you're comparing angles, the hinge theorem was you're comparing sides. Now if we take a look at this last problem, Notice, in order to use the hinge theorem, you must have two sides the same. Well, I definitely see HG and HJ are the same. And notice, HE is in both triangles, so it's congruent to itself by the reflexive property. Now, I look at my sides. Notice, 7.3 is smaller than 10. So I'll write that down. 7.3 is smaller than 10. Well, that tells me the angle across from 7.3, 68, is smaller than the, the uh, angle across from 10, which is 3x plus 45. Now, we are just going to solve that. So let's... Um, Subtract 45 from both sides. And then we're going to get 8 minus 5 is 3. 6 minus 4 is 2. That's less than 3x. I'll divide by 3. I get 23 over 3 is less than x. Now my personal preference is I always like to have the x on the left-hand side. So I'll flip that around. I'll say x is greater than 23 thirds, which is true. x is bigger than 23 thirds. But I also got to think, hey, I've got a triangle. It's not bigger forever. x can't be 1,000 because you only have a, how many degrees in a triangle. So I know my second inequality, if I look at my angle here, 3x plus 45, it's an angle of a triangle. I know the triangle sum is 180 degrees. So I know 3x plus 45 has to be less than 180 because there's 180 degrees in a triangle. And the biggest I could have is 180. Actually, it can't be 180. That's why I said less than. Well, let's solve this equation now. So I minus 45 from both sides. And we get 3x is less than, let me see, 10 minus 5 is 5, and 7 minus 4 is 3. So 3x is less than 135, and then I'll end up dividing by 3 here to find that answer. So if I divide by 3, x is less than 45. So my angle angle, or x, not my angle, x is between 23 thirds. I always like to write it as one inequality. 23 thirds is less than 45. So I'll say it's less than x, which is less than 45. And once again, it doesn't include those. So it can't be 23 thirds, and 23 thirds is kind of a ridiculous number anyway. And it's less than 45. So we're going to say between those two. And that's a pretty short seminar for two lessons. So you have some time now to work on your MT6.
LT 6 and 7 assignment, which is in your textbook. So you have some time to get that done today. It's due today, so let's get that done today.